Majority of vendors had voted last week that they did not want to move to Urban Square, a market and brewery planned for Clement Avenue near downtown. But news broke last night. The board decided the move would happen. They call it a strategic business decision. The farmer's market will go to the new location next year. Wolf Wesley is the market president. Ultimately, um, we needed to provide a viable and sustainable growth model for the market and all the factors we're, we're pointing towards the urban square uh, opportunity. We are in a vulnerable position in our current location with no room for growth and this is a lifetime opportunity to move the market forward. It didn't poll everybody, it was a vote for those who had voting rights, but it did not reflect uh, the whole market and every vendor. As a matter of fact, it, it reflects the opinion of, of less than half the vendors at the market currently. It, it wasn't an easy decision, and, and we've taken we've taken some of the concerns that that came up uh, very serious. And some of the concerns are are real, but they're manageable, uh, whereas the current situation is not manageable. Wolf Wesley is the president of the Kelowna Farmers Market. A few days ago, we heard from a vendor who voted against moving to the new location, and we've reached him for a reaction today. Mark Hood is a local artist. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rebecca. What was your reaction when you heard the market would, in fact, be moving? Well, I, I guess for me, it was, I just don't understand how they can treat their membership like this. And and why they even had a vote if they don't plan to abide by the consensus. It, it, as we just heard, not even half the members voted. Well, the, the, the board is, is set up to allow for votes by season's vendors, and 80% of those vendors voted, and 62% of them said no. So that is, that's the democracy of it. Didn't you go into the vote knowing that it wasn't binding? Uh, I have, on in two different instances, I have, basically I can quote, I have, I have board members saying that their next step is to decide as a membership if this is the right move. And I have another quote where they say, Please let you know, let uh, please know that the board of directors is not forcing this move, and that we are respectful of whatever results come of the vote. So, uh, we we felt it was uh, was a democratic process that we were going through, and uh, we thought they would live by the consensus, the results of it. It's clear you're not happy with the way everything was handled. But why are you against moving to the new location? Well, I mean, I've been through that many times. It, I think primarily for most of us, it's the location. It's uh, out of the way. Uh, the, where we are now is very central to all of Kelowna, uh, very close to a lot of other amenities that people can take in when they come to the market as well. It, I mean, it is a place where there's a lot of traffic and the mall is right there, but as someone who goes to the farmer's market, it also can be a kind of frustrating traffic experience. Would you not think about that About when you think well, about moving? Yes, the... and I would also think it's frustrating to drive uh, downtown, too. I mean, it's, it's frustrating in the city to drive anywhere, really. Uh, there's no, nothing perfect. Uh, we, we heard from an expert when they were trying to sell us on this, that it didn't matter about parking. They have examples of other markets in other cities where there's no parking and people still come to them. So, you know, it, that's really a non-starter for me. I, it, for me, it's the location. It's out of the way. Uh, it, we ha Most of our customers, for me anyway, and I've spoken to a lot of other people, are, are visitors. I mean, the locals come as well, but there are a lot of visitors that come. And where we're located now is very central, right off the highway and close to a lot of other things that people can take in when they're, when they're there. Whereas if you go to the north end, that's it. You're going to the market. Hmm. What about this idea that we heard that there isn't much room to grow in the current location? Well, uh, there, there isn't much room to grow, but uh, I question how much there's going to be in the other spot either. A, a lot of it is going to be indoor, and that's going to be more expensive for vendors than, than being in a parking lot. And, and when we were promoted on this thing, it was more about moving from there to an outdoor market on Clement Avenue. But now we keep hearing about it being an indoor, all-season market, and that's not what the, this Kelowna Farmer's Market is about. 
Some vendors, uh, as I'm sure you know, are, are pleased with the decision. Earlier, we spoke to Paula D- Diacu, who voted in favor of the move. I want to play you a little bit of what she had to say. Have a listen. Okay. I voted to move because I think it's high time that the Kelowna market got some kind of professionalism behind the, uh, the location. I find that, you know, setting up in a parking lot two times a week with the, the traffic zooming by in all directions is certainly top of sight anyway, but there's nothing beats sort of a permanent home. The board has really gone to the mat several times to chase down locations and has come up with a builder, a developer who wants to have us kind of as an anchor tenant. What do you make of that point of view? Well, that's, that's her point of view. Uh, I, I don't know that I would say that I want to stay at Orchard Park forever either, but uh, there's no immediate rush to get out of there. Orchard Park was instrumental in helping this market to get set up in the first place. And in speaking to them, they're quite happy with us. And I don't think there is this big danger that we're going to be out of there, kicked out of there anytime soon. I think a lot of farmers markets sort of pride themselves on a pedestrian uh, route to get there rather than than car culture and the two go hand in hand pedestrians and farmers markets but not cars and farmers markets what do you say to that I say how do I get to the north end I'm not going to walk there it's too far and a lot for a lot of people that'll be the case it's no more pedestrian friendly than than anywhere else in the city what will you do when the market moves next year I have to make that decision. I have a year to do that. What effect do you think this might have on, you know, between vendors and the board? It seems as though there's some tension now. Well, uh, yes, created by the board. Yes, for sure. Um, They are the ones that put forward the vote, and now they're not living by it. If we, we live in a democracy, if we, if votes mean anything, then this one certainly does. If in Canada, only 50% of the people voted, and, and 50% of them liked one party, we would let, let that party rule. So the president says that the vote is, the vote is invalid. They, they're the ones that set up the, or at least have to live by the rules. They're the ones who chose to have a vote. Now they're reneging on the, on the results because I think they don't like them. Have you, have you talked to any vendors who feel like you to talk about where else you might go? Well, there's, there's all kinds of things we can look at, I suppose. But, I mean, there's no immediate danger of us, you know, having to move out of there. I, we're going to be there for the next year for sure. And we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Mark Hood, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Rebecca. Mark Hood is an artist and vendor at the Kelowna Farmers Market. The market returns for another outdoor season at the Springfield Road site in April, but next year it will move to Urban Square, a new market p- space planned for Clement Avenue.